Hi, I'm Lucy Marvellous from Fresher Bites and I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely delicious spaghetti carbonara. Got a pan of water just boiled out of the kettle there and bringing it back to the boil. This is my 150 grams of spaghetti. Spaghetti is quite tricky to weigh because it rolls away while you're trying to weigh it, but I have weighed it. As soon as that water comes back to the boil, I'll be popping this in. I'll set my timer for 11 minutes. That gives me 11 minutes to do everything else in this recipe. So the boil, pop this in, set my timer, that's 11 minutes till that's ready to strain. First job then, I need to cut this onion, cut the point off to make a nice stable flat surface, bridge hold, cut it through the root, I'm not going to mess with the root again. Check that your spaghetti's gone right in the pan. Peel off the outer skin. You could use spring onions in this, be a lot easier to snip them with scissors. Bridge hold, cut from right near the root down. Claw grip, slice. Back to the bridge for the last bit. Chop the root in the pot. There's our onion. Two slices of bacon. We buy this really nice Polish bacon. It's really smoky, which gives the dish an extra smoky flavour. But normal bacon's fine. I'm just going to snip this up with scissors. It's a lot easier. Snip it into strips and then snip each strip into little pieces. Smells fantastic. Super smoky. That's my bacon and my onion all snipped. I'm going to drop these scissors in the sink and give my hands a little wash. Olive oil in the pan, put the pan on. Pop the bacon and the onion into the pan. We're just going to fry these off, soften them up. This is the recipe that uses your saucepan, your frying pan and a bowl. Give your spaghetti a stir, make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. Next, sniffing and grating. We've got a clean pair of scissors. You don't want raw bacon in your fresh herbs. Cut these herbs up nice and small. This really is quick, but it does mean you have to multitask a bit. 40 grams of parmesan, it's quite difficult to weigh parmesan and grate it. This whole block was 200 grams, so I'm going to use that much and say that's 40 grams. Once you've done it a few times, you'll just know how much parmesan you like. Just know you'll get four or five recipes out of the block. It's got a delicious flavour. Here's your onions and bacon, a bit of a stir. This should be doing nice. We've got a couple of minutes till our pasta's done. We just want the yolks from these eggs. We crack them like that. Open it like a book. The yolk will actually sit in one half of the shell. Pour it to the other half of the shell. And the white will pop into your pot. I save my whites. I freeze them for some imaginary meringue I'm going to make one day. Crack like that. Open, it sits in one half, pop it in the other half and all the white in the pot. There we go. Five or six drops of Tabasco, depending on how hot you like it. Just smoked one, that's going to be delicious. You can see these are pretty much doing themselves, but just make sure they're not burning. We're very nearly there with our pasta. Put a black pepper in there too. So that is what's in your bowl. Some snipped herbs, parmesan and yolks. You can do with more herbs than that really, but it's... Uh, as it's come to autumn, there's not much growing in my garden. So this pasta should be done. 
This is when you'll be glad of a colander so you don't lose half of it down the sink. Just going to strain this. I'm going to loosely strain it. I want to keep some of the liquid. I've got all the pasta in here, but I've also kept a little bit of the liquid to make a sauce with. For a vegetarian version, it says in the recipe, use some cannellini beans and some smoked paprika. If you like spicy food, use a hot paprika, otherwise use a sweet one, and the smokiness will give you a really lovely flavour. So, everything's ready. Our onions and bacon are deliciously crisp. Our pasta is deliciously soft. We're going to mix all this together with a little bit of that liquid. The egg yolk and the liquid will cook in the heat and that will make us a sauce. It's that quick. And it all goes. A little bit of this liquid. And that spaghetti. Start with a little bit, don't want it too runny. Mix that through as quick as you like. You want to cook that egg yolk in that still boiling water. And melt the cheese too. Mm, smells fantastic. Just looks like that at the moment, but the flavours are brilliant. And then add in bacon and onions, cannellini beans and paprika, extra flavourings. done. We find that whenever we eat this we end up having it two days later because it's so delicious. The trick is sharing it evenly now. Make sure you share those tasty bits and the pasta. Unless you're going to eat it all yourself of course. That would be very greedy. My favourite spatula. Get every last shred of that lovely sauce and parmesan out. I'm going to have to split this in two. Some for him, some for me. Once you've cooked something, please pop over to Facebook. Let me know how you've got on. Maybe show me a photo of what you made. Or if while you're cooking you've got any questions, pop over to Facebook, Fresher Bites, ask me a question. There's a very good chance I'll be online and I can answer your question or there might be someone else in the group who can answer your question too. Happy cooking!